All right, what we're looking at here is Bunsen Labs hydrogen. They call it. It's a open box. It's got the tent two panel. I actually had this installed on hardware and was using it for a while, and I thought it was a pretty neat little distro, and it was really quick, boot up really fast, and it was just uh, pretty neat. There's the little file browser, and it had this little docky. And I don't know if this, I uh, just downloaded this one, just uh, thought about it, uh, looking at all these environments, and I wanted to check it out, see what uh, was going on with it. But it has this neat little panel, and what I liked about it was, let me uh, show you, see, it's like a dual panel, it's a tent 2 panel, and you're on one desktop there, and you click on this one, you're on another desktop, and you can open up something on this desktop and if you need to go back you can go back to this desktop I mean I, I just thought that was pretty neat it's like a dual use panel and uh, of course your little icons are stacking up on this panel so the more stuff you open on this one they just keep stacking up here go back to that desktop you get the idea so I thought that was pretty cool and I actually had this installed and was using it there on my main system and had it all configured. I'll actually leave the link to that video uh, below where you can see why I <laughs> I stopped using it. it because, well, for one reason, um, well, actually, no, it, it was only one. It was only the one reason is because I was playing War Thunder at the time and I couldn't get the graphics to work right in it. But uh, this is. Um, built on Debian let's see let's uh, find out what it's still built on I think it was the um, Debian uh, what is it Jesse see what am I looking for here press system snap package manager let's just look real quick alright and repositories Jesse so it's on Jesse and let, let's just look real quick like gnome boxes at the time I wasn't using gnome boxes and uh, I wanted to use uh, virtual box uh, was it five because it just worked better and I couldn't do that because it was you know it was still on four something so I'm sure now it's got good software. See, it's, you know, 314 for known boxes. You know, it's going to be a little older software. Um, I don't think they're going to have even Simple Screen Recorder. And I noticed Simple Screen Recorder is not even on uh, Ubuntu Bay 16.04. I can't find it. I have to download it. So, that's kind of strange. The Chasm, I think, was on here, yeah. So, you know, it's not bad with the software but I'll leave the link below you can see why my graphics weren't working right and I was just you know playing uh, War Thunder a lot and I mean it worked and everything everything you know I had it all set up real nice looking and everything and everything worked about it but uh, I just couldn't get uh, War Thunder to play right and so I thought man I you know I just you know turned me off but um, it was pretty neat and I still think it's a really neat little system here I just liked it and it was really quick well man I had this thing installed on my system and it was quick I click on something and it go and then you right click you get your little menu you got all your little uh, it's got the conky let's see if the conky is still there oh the con I mean the dock let's see if it had the little dock see here's the tent to panels choose wallpaper and it had all these real nice wallpapers to it you see there actually I think it had different ones and let's see system I remember it had a little dock or or did I install the dock on it now I can't remember and there's the appearance it's got a little black themes that one don't look bad. The icons. And I had some of uh, those, what were they, Awaka icons? And I don't remember if those were installed by default either. 
there's the little calculator I mean it was just a neat little system I, I just thought it was really neat and let's see what else is on here catfish file search web browser media player LibreOffice compositing compositor restart Conky editor and all that power management it's using the XFCE but it was just uh, I just uh, thought about it looking at all these environments and I wanted to see if they had any updates to it and you know something to, what was going on with it um, that's why I downloaded it right now and checked it out it's just a neat little system and it was so quick and fast and and I liked it because you know it's you know regular Windows manager where you can drag things around and and you could really use it just like any other uh, distro out there you know environment that's uh, dragging and you know dropping and then I like this little uh, tent to uh, panel here was neat and and you can get into the panel settings here somewhere let's see pan, uh, tent to panel settings tent to editor and you come here you can uh, change things around and let's see where was that at there's the open box settings tent to chooser top or bottom and what else they restart and all that so yeah I, I just thought it was really cool and I, I like this the way it was all set up but couldn't get War Thunder to play right and if you actually I'll put the link to the bottom you'll see my my tank was chrome it was the weirdest thing and but everything else looked really weird and was dark looking and everything but the tank was chrome you gotta look at that video I mean I never chrome I'm talking about chrome tank it's weird looking but other than that um, I like this little uh, system here it's pretty neat it's probably the fastest little system I put on this computer and I, I think it had other little conkeys let me see where was the conkeys at it had um, different little conkeys that you could pick from yeah and let's see somehow you would uh... let's try that one or oh, is that the editor I can't remember how to use this thing there's some way to select the conkeys edit conky running conky new conky session uh, I can't remember how to do it but there was a way to select another one reload conky chooser that's what I thought this was and you select that one right okay it had that conky okay that's the way you did it and let's try that again let's see what was that one that I liked there's that button and let's see what this one is it's got a little calendar there was one that went across the screen let's see right left top was it this one yeah it was this one I think I was using that one I thought it just looked neat and I had my little docky here at the bottom it just showed you a couple little information there and they had this other one that was a little button where is it at? I think this one here. Put that one. Puts a little button in there in the middle. I thought that looked pretty neat. So pretty cool. And let's see the wallpaper. I think there's. I don't know. I I kind of remember there was other wallpapers. Um. Oh yeah, this one to the side. You can pick that one. Move it over to the side there a little bit see what was that one wider yeah let's pick this one here so that looks pretty cool like that just uh, 
thought it was, I mean, I still think it's really neat. It's a, it's a real neat little system. You got to check it out. Um, I mean, it's just as, you know, easy to use as XFCE. I mean, it's most of the part, you know, it's got the Thun R and the XFCE, some of the XFCE, you know, stuff about it, like the uh, power management and stuff like that. Um, it's just really neat. And, you know, it's put, running on Debian, so you can um, get any uh, Debian package. It's got the uh, Synapse Package Manager. There's Gpart and everything about Bunsen Labs, or what is that about Bunsen Lab alternatives? Login settings, screen lock. I thought it was just pretty cool. And let's see what other kind of themes that it has. Let me open up the file browser again. Let's look at this uh, dark one there. The bluish, blackish. That one looks pretty good. And then for the trim, let's see, where do you get that trim? I remember you went somewhere else. Um, the open box. Let's see, where was that at? Open box something what was it what was it I can't remember accessories there was somewhere to get the um, window border trim can't remember I don't know if it was in here or what it was I don't think it's in here I just cannot remember. Follows root sim. Nope, that's not it. Conky tent to appearance. Uh, notification power manager. D menu. And display. That's all your display settings. So, pretty cool little uh, system here. I really liked it. And I still like it. Uh, if you're looking for something really light, I would check this one out. You, you never hardly see it on distro watch or anything like that uh, but I did see it on there one day and um, you can just search for it and it's just this little open box with the tent 2 uh, window manager and it is blazing fast to boot up and run and gets around online everything works on it I didn't have any problems on it except for the graphics I'm trying to run um, War Thunder and I'm sure that um, I could probably get it going now, it was just back then, I just, you know, gave up on it. But, uh, I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. This was just a little look at Bunsen Labs Hydrogen. I just thought about it, and, uh, I thought I'd download it and check it out again, and, uh, let y'all look at it here a little bit. So, I guess that's it. Alright, y'all.